Your Storm Shield forecast only on Fox 47 News. Kayla, this weather really went downhill tonight. It's so <laughs> cold outside. Yeah, I mean, it definitely did temperature wise. Not so comfortable out there. I don't know who mm -hmm. turned the heat off out there, but yeah, it is chilly right now. Looking outside the studio, we do have a couple layers of clouds above and it is cold. Our temperature right now is at 22 degrees uh, below average already. Our almanac shows today's high was below average. We got to 34 degrees, about four degrees below the average of 38. Our low is what we're at right now, 22 degrees. And again, that is also four degrees below average. Our temperatures right now across mid Michigan. We're at 22 in Lansing and Mason, 23 in Jackson, 20 in Hillsdale and Coldwater and 25 degrees down there in Adrian. The forecast for tonight, we're going to see as temperatures kind of bouncing around in the low to mid 20s, partly cloudy skies, winds staying light out of the north for tomorrow. 35 degrees, the high temperature, mostly sunny, but we'll see a few clouds from time to time, especially during the morning hours here. Our temperature trend, though, so we're cool to, or tomorrow and Monday, but we are tracking this warm up next week. Temperatures bumping up a few degrees each day by Thursday. We're going to be in the mid to upper 40s. Not so bad for the beginning of December. This is what's going on right now, showing you our satellite and radar. Well, Great Lakes region through New England here. We are in, in, in this trough of low pressure, which is bringing cooler air down. Also a good bit of cloud cover out there. At the surface, though, we do have high pressure in control, so that is at least keeping us dry. And then out to the west, we have a ridge of high pressure. That'll bring dry, sunny conditions, and it'll pull warmer air northward as well. Zooming down here into Michigan, you can see we do have an impulse right now at the upper levels, moving along the western edge of that trough. Again, no precipitation with this. But we are seeing some increased cloud cover coming off of southern Wisconsin over Lake Michigan, and that'll be what gives us more clouds tonight. Now, today's high temperatures 34 in Lansing and Mason zooming out here. You can see that warmer air out to the west being pulled northward underneath that ridge 59 in North Platte, 54 in Wichita. That is coming this way very slowly. Again, that's going to give us our warmer temperatures by the middle of the next week. Now, taking a look at future track here overnight tonight. We will see mostly uh, or partly cloudy skies. Again, temperatures very chilly. Uh, this model overdoing these temperatures. We're going to be in the low to mid 20s pretty much throughout the night. Tomorrow starts off very chilly. If you're stepping outside, certainly want to bundle up. Temperatures in the low to mid 20s through the day. We are going to see those clouds kind of dissipate. Lots of sunshine throughout the afternoon. With all that sun, though, temperatures only getting into the mid 30s. Clouds then thicken up as we head through Sunday night into Monday morning as well. You can see clouds moving in. Also could see a couple of flurries making their way to us here as moisture surges off of Lake Michigan. But again, I think most of us do stay dry, not a bad night at all. And then by Monday, we'll see uh, definitely more dry conditions and temperatures remaining chilly. Highs getting into the upper 30s then. Now taking a look at the next seven days, this is not a bad forecast at all, especially for it being the beginning of December. Again, average temperatures should be in the upper 30s. We're going to flirt with that tomorrow and Monday as well. Definitely very cold starts Monday and Tuesday as well. Temperatures starting off in the mid 20s. We are going to start to see clouds thicken back up middle of the work week as those temperatures start to warm as well. 44 on a Wednesday, partly sunny, 46 Thursday, partly sunny. After this really benign, tranquil stretch of weather, we're going to see things start to go downhill. Then by Friday, we'll see rain through the afternoon and through the overnight hours as well. And we're going to keep these unsettled conditions as we head through the weekend as well.